a little relief from the heat. Well, let's get Bob in here about the heat now. You know, a lot of places um, like Columbus, Ohio is what we're seeing there. Opened up a few fire hydrants for people, you know, especially kids to play in to cool off a little bit. Um, and, and why are some people calling this a heat dome? A heat dome? Yeah, because it's a huge ridge of high pressure, Robin. And, and high pressure ridging in the atmosphere is really shaped like a bubble, a huge bubble. But underneath that bubble of high pressure, it's just compressing air. That compressing air heats up. You have the sunshine, strong sun in July, and that just adds to the misery. So, yeah, the heat dome is out there. And it's that high-pressure ridge and connected up from the New England states all the way down through the Mid-Atlantic, the Mid-South, and now edging back across the Deep Southwest, too. That's the hot air, and we still have the warnings that are in place. But some of the warnings are not there any longer. That's some good news. We're talking about the upper Midwest, Minnesota, the Dakotas. You guys are out of the warnings. Parts of Wisconsin, you guys are out as well. But the warnings have shifted over towards the east. So we get a look at these. Excessive heat warnings from Kansas and Oklahoma all the way up through Iowa and Missouri. They stretch in towards Illinois and Indiana. And brand new for you, you have excessive heat warnings for New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, D.C., all the way down to Richmond, Virginia, where today's highs alone are going to be near 100 degrees. And you add that humidity, feel like about 105 to 110 near New York, about 110 for you for Philadelphia. Same with D.C. 